Hi folks, this is my very first guitar build. Um, I got a uh, Warmoth Soloist uh, Swamp Ash body, um, which is gorgeous. It's a one piece body. This is the body right here. Uh, as you can see, it's got some beautiful grain patterns on it. Uh, it's routed for a Floyd Rose, which I plan to install as well. Uh, two humbuckers in a single coil. It'll just have a uh, volume, one volume and one tone uh, knob and a five-way switch. So now I'm just sanding with 320 grit, getting it all nice and smooth. Always sanding with the grain. Not too much pressure. I like to lift when I move to another part of the guitar so I don't leave any scratches going this way. I've already mostly done this at 320. Just one more pass here. The Warmoth bodies come already pre-sanded at 220. So there's not much more work you really have to do. I just like to smooth it out a little bit more. Okay, so I was testing pore filling by wet sanding uh, at 400 grit um, and then trying the true oil with the artist paint on top of that. Uh, I didn't get quite the results uh, that I wanted. Uh, it looks like by pore filling uh, the paint doesn't quite uh, make the grain pop as much as when I don't pore fill. So here's an example I did on some scrap wood. So on the left is a piece of wood that was not pour filled. And you can see it was sanded up to 320. And then I just put the true oil with the artist paint on it. I think about three coats, three, maybe four coats. And it looks really nice, nice dark grain. And on this side, I did pour filling first with just true oil and uh, wet sanding and then I applied uh, one or two coats of the artist paint with true oil mixed together and as you can see it's a much lighter grain much lighter effect uh, which I don't care for as much as this one so I think I'm actually going to skip the pour filling on the guitar body and go with uh, 320 grit uh, and just the true oil and the artist paint. So let's see how that works out. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually take some true oil, put it in this glass jar, be pretty liberal with it. And then I'm going to take some of this artist paint. I'm using the Windsor & Newton Winton oil color and it's burnt umber. So I'm going to squeeze some of this in here and then stir it up. Since this oil paint is diluted in linseed oil, it's linseed oil based, it uh, will work with true oil. It'll dissolve right in there and give it a nice color. As you can see, it's 
It's already getting dark. So just stir it up. And don't worry if you don't get the right color the first time, because you can, it's always good to add different coat or add more coats and get it darker. So it'll probably look fairly light the first time around. All right, now let's see what this will look like on the guitar. Okay, so I'm just taking up a piece, taking a piece of old t-shirt, just ripped up. I'll dunk it into here. And then just start spreading it in. Now you can see this is pretty light right now. I definitely want it a lot darker than this. Um, so I might actually end up adding more paint to the mixture. Otherwise, I'll have to do a lot more coats. So yeah, let me darken this up a bit. Okay, I've added a little more color to this. So let's see if this gets a little darker. There we go. Now, like I said, you can keep adding more coats to get it darker. Uh, so, no need to worry if it's not quite the right color the first time. And if you go too dark, you can always sand. Now, I want to try to keep the strokes even so as not to leave smudge marks and stuff like that. I'm not too concerned right now since it's the very first coat. And then make sure you pick up any spillage on the sides. first coat it's a pretty rough first coat but you can already see the grain coming through it looks beautiful uh, I'll probably have to do some more sanding as I'm seeing some things some imperfections showing up you can tell here it's a little rougher so I might have to sand that a little bit more uh, but you know I don't know how much darker I want to go on this it's looking pretty good like this, but uh, we'll see once I get the neck, which is uh, Wenge wood, I think it's called, uh, which is a pretty dark wood. I'll see how it compares to this and see if I need to darken this at all, but uh, overall I think this looks pretty good for the first pass. I know there's some streaking and stuff, but uh, that can all be fixed. <laughs> 